In today's video, I would like to share a feature on the Canon R6 Mark I that would allow you to get pretty good JPEG images shooting at ISO 100 and 2000. Hi everybody, Richard here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am gonna do a video that isn't about Lightroom. It is all about a secret, well, it's not really secret, a uh, menu option that is in the Canon EOS R6 that could give any of you JPEG shooters out there um, an option to get low noise at high ISO. So you heard me mention earlier, 102,000 400 ISO I've tested this on. It's basically an option within the um, one of the red menus on the Canon. It's called multi-shot noise reduction. And what it does is it takes four photos and stitches those or layers or does something with those four photos to pull the best part of each photo, I believe, uh, to give you one clean image and using, um, I'm not exactly sure how it works. Let me read what Adobe say. So they say that multi-shot noise reduction is a similar process to focus stacking as it requires multiple images taken from the same position to be stacked and compared. The camera is then able to remove the random noise by keeping only the data that is in the same place in every frame. Now, I don't really understand it, but what it does is it gives you a cleaner image. Um, I'm gonna show you how to set that up in the menu settings in a minute. I'm also then gonna take 10 photos, five photos, at 25,600 ISO, and each photo is gonna be one taken with uh, noise reduction disabled, one taken with noise reduction on low, one on standard, one on high, and then a fifth photo with the noise reduction done as multi-shot exposure noise reduction. Um, and this noise reduction in the menu, like I think I just said, is only um, for JPEGs. Um, and it just lets the camera remove some of the noise as opposed to doing it in post. So if you're not much of an editor, if you're not much of a, a one that wants to tweak your image too much afterwards, you just want to shoot at a wedding, and uh, not wedding, a well, a guest at a wedding, or a family party, or a holiday in dark place, you know, in the you're visiting somewhere that's low light. Uh, this might be an option for you if you are not fussed about doing too much editing to your photo. So first thing we're gonna do is jump into the camera's menu. I'll show you where it is, I'll show you how to set it up, it's really easy. Um, and then we will have a quick look at the 10 images I'm gonna take before we zoom in and pixel peep at them in Lightroom. So first of all, we're gonna go straight into the Canon R6 menus. So here we are in the red menus and we are going to use the top scroll button to move along to the menu four. And here you will see the ISO speed noise reduction or high ISO. Now this is the screen that I've sort of always been used to having disabled, low, standard, or high. But we now have this extra menu in the R6 uh, Mark I and I'm sure in the R6 Mark II, um, which basically is a multi-shot noise reduction. It gives you a bit of information here on the help, uh, on the info button, there's some help, so let's just press that. So basically it reduces the image noise. Uh, Multi-shot noise reduction combines four consecutive shots to create one low noise image. The setting will be switched to standard with any of the following functions is set. So if you have it as raw, if you're shooting raw or if you're shooting raw and JPEG, then you will not be able to use the high, uh, the multi-shot noise reduction. It will revert to standard, which is that option there, which is your standard noise reduction. Um, and, oops. There we go. And the following functions are not available, external speed light control. So while you have this option on, you cannot control your external speed light from the menus. And like I say, if you're shooting RAW or RAW in JPEG, then you cannot use this function either. If It will flick automatically back to the standard option. So let's just go quickly back to here. So multi-shot noise reduction. Um, as it says, it's gonna combine four images to create one low noise um, image, and I'm gonna show you some photos now, and you can see for yourself how it compares. I'm gonna take exactly the same photo, exactly the same ISO, one with the high ISO noise reduction disabled, one at low, one at standard, one at high, and one at multi-shot noise reduction, and we will see how they look. Okay, so that is how it's set up, like I said, really straightforward. 
um, not too difficult. What we're going to do now is let's jump back into the camera, but this time we're in shooting mode and I will show you the photos that I've taken. First five photos are going to be shot at 25,600 ISO and the second five photos are going to be shot at 102,400 ISO. Um, and you'll get an idea of how good this or not, you can judge for yourself, this menu option is. I will say again, it's only for JPEGs. Um, if you're a professional, you're not going to use this because you're going to shoot in RAW most of the time. But let's have a look anyway. So here we are looking through the viewfinder of the R6. We are focusing, we're taking a quick photo of what we've set up here. This first shot is taken at 25,600 ISO and that was on disabled high ISO noise reduction. We have moved on to the low setting. Shot taken, still at 25,600. Let's change it now to standard. You can follow along and it won't take long and we'll this one is at standard. We've just put the two second timer on to avoid camera shake. Now we're gonna go and change the menu settings to high ISO noise reduction. And finally, we are going to change to multi-shot exposure. Multi-shot noise reduction. There we go, five photos at disabled, low high stand, low standard high and multi-shot noise reduction. Right, back into the camera's menu settings. We're gonna change it now to disabled and we are going to adjust the ISO here to 102,400. Now, one thing I have to state here is that the exposure simulation doesn't seem to work when you're on multi-shot exposure. So I have taken this first picture at 2000 ISO with the noise reduction disabled. Straight into the menus we're gonna go and we are gonna change the noise reduction to low. We are gonna take the photo. We are gonna head into the menus again, change it to standard, and we're gonna speed this up a little bit. That's the high one. And finally, let's change that to multi-shot noise reduction and take the final photo. There we go. Now, as I mentioned, in multi-shot noise reduction, you cannot see the exposure change in the viewfinder. Look at the shutter speed all the way down to a 50th of a second there, and there was no change in the exposure at all. So the exposure simulation does not work on um, multi-shot noise reduction. If we go back to disable it or to low or to standard, it does. So bear that in mind that you'll have to keep an eye on the metering or the exposure meter in the middle of your camera there to make sure that you're gonna get the right exposure or set it up in a non-multi-shot mode first, something like disable or uh, low or standard or high setting, for example. So that's the photos taken. We are now going to move on and in a second, we'll look at them in Lightroom. Okay, there we are, all done. So that was five images, um, or 10, 10 images in total, five taken with 25,600 ISO, and five taken with uh, 102,400 ISO. We are gonna jump into Lightroom in a second and have a real close look at those, but I just wanna clarify two points that I probably didn't ex explain very well um, while I was going through those screenshots there. Basically, uh, you have to be in JPEG. If you change it to RAW and you are in multi-shot, noise reduction, the camera will default back to a standard setting for noise reduction. So bear that in mind, it will not work in JPEG, uh, sorry, it will not work in RAW or RAW and JPEG settings if that's what you're shooting. And the second thing, which is a bit more awkward, is that the exposure simulation doesn't seem to work if you're in multi-shot noise reduction. You saw that, um, albeit very quickly, that if I was in one of the other settings, disabled or low or standard, 
and I adjusted the shutter speed, the screen got brighter or darker depending on which way I went, but if I went back to multi-shot noise reduction and adjusted the shutter speed, the exposure simulation did nothing, the screen stayed the perfect exposure. So my suggestion would be you have to use your meter, exposure meter in the viewfinder or on the screen, or set the exposure using the standard feature, for example, the standard noise reduction, and then turn it to multi-shot exposure noise reduction. That being said, we are now gonna jump into Lightroom and have a real close look, have a real pixel peep at these images and just to see how good, if it is good, you be the judge, how good this setting, multi-shot noise reduction actually is. So here we go into Lightroom. Here is the first one. I'm gonna zoom into Let's zoom into 200%, just so we can get nice and tight. So this is a whiskey bottle and a lens. I wanted to get something with small writing on because I think that's a really good demonstration of how the noise is um, behaving. So we have got here, and I've, I've renamed the file so I know which one it is. So this is taken at 25,000, oh, let's look it up here, 25,600, 500th of a second, and at uh, F4, they're all at F4, ISO noise reduction is disabled. So, you know, it's pretty good. 4,000, uh, 25,600 with no in-camera ISO noise reduction. That is what we're getting. The next one is with the low noise reduction. So we can see a very minor difference there. If you look around the speckles around the word monkey and the, you know, in here you can see it does smooth out a little bit. This next one is at standard ISO noise reduction and the fire still read the print, you know, even back here in the disabled noise reduction, the print was was legible. Um, this is now high and it's now starting to look a little bit smooth, but we've done no sharpening. You can see down the right hand side, no sharpening, no noise reduction. It's the original JPEG file, don't forget, it's a JPEG. Now let's, let's look at the one that is a multi, multiple exposure noise reduction and we'll compare it with the high. It's even better, I think it's even better. If you look in particular around the word monkey shoulder down here, the S and the H are a little bit, a little bit blurry, a little bit chopped up there. But if we come to the next one, it definitely gets sharper. And all we'd need to do is just apply a tiny bit of sharpening to this image, just gonna do some masking. And that is, there's no noise reduction. This is all done in the camera. Um, and there we have a, let's go back to 200, which we are. That is a, a totally usable image in my eyes. I mean, if you're, if you're a professional, then you're not gonna do this, obviously, because you're gonna shoot in RAW. But if you're an enthusiast, if you're an amateur, and you want to get clean photos at 25,600 ISO, it's, it's all right, it's, it's brilliant. I think it's amazing. Um, it's an R6, obviously, it's not a cheap camera, but even so, what we are now gonna do is look at the same photo, I have to adjust the settings because we've gone up to 102,000 ISO. Um, so here's the first one. This is with ISO noise reduction, de de um, disabled in camera, up to 102,000 ISO, but we have had to jump up to 2,000 shutter speed. We're letting in more light with the ISO. So obviously we've got to let in less light with the shutter speed because I'm keeping the aperture exactly the same. Uh, I'm going to zoom in, but it's going to be um, not very pleasant. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It is pretty, pretty dire, and you wouldn't want to use that image. But that is no ISO noise reduction in Lightroom or in the camera. Bear that in mind. So we're now going to move on to... Uh, this is with low noise reduction, and we're starting to see a little bit of an improvement. You're still losing some words here. Yeah, we've got speckles and things here. We can see that the noise is still very visible. This is now with standard noise reduction. It is starting to smooth out, but with that, we're losing sharpness. Um, and again, it's not, not really that usable. High ISO noise reduction. Now we could bring some of this back with sharpening, with a bit of increasing the blacks and, and doing things like that, but we can't read the word monkey at all. And now with the multiple noise reduction look at that is so much that is with high iso noise reduction barely make out the e you can just about make out the word shoulder and if we now look at the multiple exposure noise reduction 
you can make out the monkey, you can make out the word shoulder, uh, the malt men who still turn compared to their... You know, it, it's it's better. I mean, you can't dispute the fact that it is better. Now, it does take four photos, like we said, um, and can be a bit disorientating. Like, you take four photos and you look, you've only got one there. It feels like you're on high shutter speed or something. Um, but a JPEG at 102,000... 400 ISO with no noise reduction and no sharpening. Let's bring a bit of the sharpen up. Let's bring a bit of the masking up. We just want to try and mask the letters and or just sharpen the letters and not the, the label. And there we are. I don't forget, I've done no other editing. Everything else is set to zero. These are just straight out of camera. Um, and 102,400 ISO, straight out of camera, usable, if you had to. Now I'm not suggesting anyone for any minute would need to do this, but it's good to know that you've got that option there if you need it. So that was it. That was a little menu option that I discovered really recently. Um, I hope you found that useful. You maybe you want to go and play with that option yourself and see which one works well for you. Just a reminder of the things that you can't do with it, you cannot shoot that in RAW. If you do change your file type to RAW after you've put this on multi-exposure um, ISO noise reduction, it will change that menu option to standard. So bear that in mind. So that's it, that's me for now. Thank you for watching. Um, if you found this video, even the remotest bit useful, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for loads more photo, uh, loads more videos, mainly on editing, Lightroom, things like that. Photography, using Canon cameras, that's all I use. Um, but if you're not a Canon user, stick around for the editing side of it. Um, and see you in the next video.